Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Danganronpa. Um, if you guys remember last time, we were in the middle of the climax conclusion. But unfortunately, I lost that data, but I went but I went through the whole class shot and made it back over to it. Let's get right into it. Okay, so, Sucker goes to the dorms and leaves no call, huh? One for Toko, one for Kira. One for Biakia. Sokka goes into the locker. She has and sees Kira and Sok and sees Kira and Sokka together. Kira gets Kira get the bottle.
上さんが娯楽室に入る次に娯楽室にやってきたのは殺されると勘違いしたハガクリ。How did Naegi solve it all?
だからこそ人間は難しいあなたはそれを理解していなかっただから真実にたどり着ね言ったでしょ人の感情というものを軽んじているといつか足元を救わそう I guess that means no one's been executed since the person who committed since the person who already committed the crime, aka Sakura, is already dead. So I guess that means no class trial. I guess that means, uh, my, no class trial. I mean, no execution. But Sakura's already dead. So. Is Monica mad because he can't execute an because he can't execute anyone? The first time it's a dead person being called guilt being voted guilty. And why is my Akuma up there as an option? Hi. Yep, Sakura Ogami was murdered by Sakura Ogami. That's it, the end. So you guys, we're right. That's what I still don't get. To what end did you attempt to cover up the truth behind Ogami's death, Met Asahina? Had he actually succeeded, you too would have been executed. So why would you do such a thing? Yeah, dude, you almost got us all killed. That, that, that was what I was going for. Huh? The reason Sakura died is since you all backed her into a corner. You all killed her. So, I can't let her be the one who died. Girl, what are you saying? You wanted to drag us all down with you. Someone had to say first. Me, you, everyone, we're all responsible for her death, so we, sh we all should pay. You for real? What makes you think that? So I'm gonna get it. Fine, I'll tell you. <clears throat> I'll tell you just as much as spare Sokka was in when she died. Look at this. I despair of everything. It's, there's constant fighting. It's ugly and always serves to deepen my despair. If all I can do is wait for someone to kill me, I'd rather end things by my own hand. What? I found it on the floor outside the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. Her suicide note? In hindsight, there were clues she was planning to do this even before it happened. Earlier today, after Genocider attacked me, when Sakura went out of the infirmary, all angry about it, I chased after her. Hey, Sakura, relax. I'm fine. I'm fine. How could I possibly relax? I cannot. I care not if they come after me. I accept full responsibility for my actions, but for you to suffer because of me. For you, my dear friend, to stand up for me. And to be injured as a result. Sakura. Because of me. Because of what I have done. I have turned everyone against each other. I am responsible for everything. Sakura, blame yourself. She felt responsible for everything. You're the reason she wanted to talk to you three. Just to find out there's any anything she could do to earn your forgiveness. You're gonna you're gonna meet with them? That's a really bad idea. You're putting yourself in danger. Worry not. I'm simply going to speak with them. What about? You really shouldn't go. If all the other came with you once, even you couldn't. Do not mistake them for your enemies. She trusts you guys. She really truly believed in you. And you'll be able to understand she was open she opened it up to you and think you were a friend. And yet, and yet He stopped all of her feelings in the worst possible way. Well, that was more like an accident. So she tried to weasel by calling it an accident. She trusts you guys and you wouldn't even go to the time of day. You really nearly killed her by eating her out. 
She was in despair because of you! That's what the snow was saying. If I can just wait for someone to kill me, it might as well. That's how far you packed her into a corner. Something heard what happened. So you came. Sir, here, I'll go in the kitchen, banished up. Huh? I'm grateful to have the opportunity to meet you here. What's wrong, Sakura? What is this all of a sudden? Can I ask a favor of you? A favor? I would like some protein. Can I ask you to get some for me? Sure, yeah. Hang on, I'll be right back with it. Last time Sakura and I ever spoke. I went to the cat once to get the clothes for Jazz for and there was powder all over the floor. That's when I realized that Sakura got sent from the poison cabinet. I ran back to the record as fast as I could, but I was too... Stuck! Uh, Open! Open the door! Why? Why should you have to die, Sakura? Sakura's just a regular person. She had weaknesses just like everyone else. She bled, she felt pain. She was just a regular, fragile human being. And yet you... You all kept in demonizing her. Kept accusing her of things. And I got her trying to stand up for her. I burdened her even further. I didn't even realize what I had done. Masahina. We all killed Sakura. We backed into a corner and killed her. That's a good reason for us to go on living having done that to her. So you thought that you tried to take us all down. You did shut a Laura's with the wrong conclusion. She died despising everyone. I wanted to get revenge for her. But you saw through me and yet I couldn't do anything for her. How am I supposed to face her now? Sorry for dropping your stop story. But holy mother of God almighty, does it ever end? I'm bossing my chair here. Hey, do you really think you know what Ugami is thinking as she died, Asahina? What's that to me? Let's be honest, most of, you, most of what you've been rambling on for about the last ever is just your interpretation. Your interpretation predicts all that suicide note. Of course I know, Sakura and I were... If you let me finish, I was trying to say... The base of your, interruption of your interpretation is invalid. At this baby here, my posse may have to be the real thing. What's that, dude? As if it weren't obvious enough. It's a suicide note. Ugami. Suicide note? But didn't I see Hino already? I wrote that one. Oh, well, this one was left in your room, I see Hino. Ugami also wanted you to have it. Wait, so... You tricked me? Tricked in such a harsh way of putting it. I just wanted to spice things up a bit, that's all. And I guess I was also very nice to see my Skippy Sailor Scribbles, man. And it's like Ugami's name is anywhere on it. That's not fair. I think that's fair about it. I didn't do nothing wrong. Then I plan fake events. Did I try to divert your attention from the true cop? You guys are the reason this happened, and you guys are the reason I got so messy. I didn't do anything. So what? That suicide was a spark that got that set all off. It was still all of you guys' work. I'm totally in the clear. It was just part of the show. Hmm. So what is my real suicide note saying? If you really want to know, I raise to everyone my world right now be in the voice. By the way, don't you kind of wonder? The who exactly came with the idea of people leaving those behind before committing suicide? Sally, I learned about the whoever it was that already taken their own lives. We'll never know. It's scary to think how things can get washed away in the river of time like that. Would you please get started already? Yeah, yeah, here I go. Yeah. My dear friend Asahina, there's something I must share with you. The pains you do so in this fashion, there's something I'd like you to know. This is my final wish. Is there already been one? Oh. I serve the puppet master as his mole. The puppet master initially approached me on the first line of this bizarre new lifestyle. He professed to have taken a hostage from my clan's dojo in order to submit myself into a service. You might think it not, but it's a simple place of training, and it's been in my clan's care for 300 years. I cannot let it fall in my duration. I felt the need to protect it. It was that sensitive for a white framework is slow. 
Oh, I wish I was room to comply with the Papa Master's demands. I prayed for Stan. He bid me to take someone to the I would say about the equilibrium forming among the students and that the first murder would not occur. However, neither he nor I had predicted Sayaka Maizano would take action before I was to. Consequently, his order changed. I was to remain on standby to wait for equilibrium to be spent before me again. But as our lives continued together, I thought the culture of the day continued. Watching us struggle, fight tooth and nail to survive, made me painfully aware of the weakness I held within, the weakness that drove me to succumb. But above all, I made me aware of the weakness that I held within, the weakness that drove me to succumb. But above all, I made me aware of the My perspective began to change. Well, that's why she. Rade wa kimeta no da. Mo hikaru. Mo kobinu. Mo kaeri minu to. Rade wa kessin shita omae to. But cause she did, I spilled all the secret everyone and I'm hating her. Imagine that. You did something, then you're helping everyone and they all hate you for it. Well, iron my knee and call me iron knee. If that ain't the best kind of irony, I don't know what is. And I'm resented by everyone. I have every intention of gradually accepting any and any ill world's work to do. But I was naive. I created too great a problem to, to solve by dragging myself, dragging only myself to the mud. The fear and doubt, discord and dissonance in our body. He picked it with any more murder. To resolve the problems brought about by my mistakes. In order to fulfill our sensibility, I resolved to comply with the Puppet Master's orders to take someone's life. Only I, the only life I can take, is my own. If the Master's eyes me to kill, then it's I who, sh who I shall kill. In doing so, the hostages taken at my clan's soldier will be set free, but more importantly, my death will extinguish the flame of conflict I set before it drives any of you to murder. To that end, I have fought my life. Because you know what one is worth that price. The first I have ever had. It's a soccer. To die back to a corner full of hatred for everyone. Stop us from fighting to protect us. She didn't take her own life out of weakness. Rather, it was the opposite. She did it because she was strong, far too strong. And this is what led her to end her life. She chose death in order to protect us. No normal person could take that degree of selflessness. Demo. But her strength made it possible for her. But please do not sorrow. If I'm able to finish the Pump Master scheme, if I'm able to stop the killing, there is nothing more I can ask for. This is the path I have chosen for myself. This is my atonement. With the fall, my class charge should end with little difficulty. Asahina, I know it will be difficult, but I'd like you to finish the work I'm setting out to begin. I'm going to meet with Togumi, Fukawa, and Hagagure. While I will, while I will hide my intent and intend to share with them my feelings. The rest must be shown by action, not word. I believe that in doing so, they will finally come to realize.
It's my dear hot soccer belt. I call myself a friend. Yeah, yeah man, Jeff. Man. She didn't want you to do any of that meddling. Oh, yeah. Oogawi died to shut the costume down, but because of you, things almost went straight up Roman. <laughs> Oogawi died for nothing, and it's all your fault. Even better, because of all your medic, you dragged everyone else into the lion's den, too. It's playing game time. Everyone point at Scout Asahina. And why wouldn't you? She deserves it. Yep, 10,000 yen. I know who the next victim is. Oh, be quiet. Nobody's blaming her for anything. Huh? What's that? It's your fault for tricking her with that fake suicide note. Besides, Uugami didn't die for nothing. What's that? What's that? She reminds us that we are enemies that destined to despise one another, that we're friends and allies. Oh, that yeah, dude, he's right. It turned out like this because of our, mi our misplaced taste for ogre. No. We can't blame her, dude. Not one of us has the right to blame Hina. <laughs> it never mattered that Ugami was the mole. After all, our true enemy is you. Yeah. What the hell, man? Yeah. What the freaking hell is this, man? Yeah. You got that wrong, you know. It's the kind of costume as you guys as battle against yourselves. Yeah. You guys are your own enemy. You're exactly right, Blackuma. Hey. Yeah, Togami, someone gets it. This is a game of King of the Castle between us. A life or death game with only one spot on top of the hill. You're exactly right about that. And for that reason, I withdraw from the game. Uh -huh. See what now? By making sacrificial lands of ourselves, Lassahina and Udami have rejected the very foundation of this game. Because of their actions, I went off completely discarded their fear for the game. There's a reason they can feel free by any game that's lost in first excitement. So I'm withdrawing. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously! For which leaves me with one last thing to look forward to. The brutal punch that you're gonna get for thinking to try to manipulate me. Told you, didn't you? Don't give me that. I'm not acting out of some sickening and sweet sense of sentiment sentimentality. Uh -huh. I must be my white man. The such a part has in the steam on the manly. Guys! Yeah. How about that? You so clean in comedy died for nothing. Oh, you guys are lame. That's cool, whatever. I still have my usual fun in games yet. No, no, in games? Oh, Enough about that epic failure of a mole. Let's keep the tradition going and get this party started. Oh, it's only all I'm waiting for. Punishment time. Look at all the girls at the door now. Hey, are you going to... I'm not going to come from you guys, because the villain's already dead. Let's think about the rules of the average there. Let's see if I think she's a very quick person out of here. Who the hell's the guest? Hachirigo? Where the hell did Monokuma get him from? Torigo! Picked up in a hot pot, like the sugar girl for a nice hot, hot, nice piped and hot bowl of ramen. Ain't that my ground after an hour of manual labor? And just for the record, I'm a shell ramen super master, super masochist. I mean, really, tonkotsu, miso, we can color our ramen and volume. I know it's risky, but I have to do it. I'm scared, but I'll. I'll be okay. It's kind of weird. I remember I'm doing this for your sake. It gives me a burst of courage. I'm sure thinking, what's he talking about? He's just an AI. But it's true, honest. 
I'll be okay. okay. I'm doing this for all of you, so I'm not afraid of anything. Alfredo's words came rushing back to me, flowing from the depths of my mind and filling me with a seething black anger. And then, and that then erupted from my mouth. How dare you! He was our friend! How dare you kill him! Wow, you got friends with a laptop? Isn't that kind of sad? Sad and befriending a bouncy ball? Screw you! He wasn't just a laptop. He was on Torigo, our friend. And you killed him! Hey, you know why that's where he thinks everything's out of soul? What do they call that? An animism? Uh, Immunism? And not that matters either way. Uh, I couldn't bear to let him stick around any longer. Not once he started poking around where he shouldn't have. So you had caught on. Oh, uh, your horses, girly. I was ever not in the know. The fact that. <sighs> Sorry about that. My brother interrupted me. The fact that Fujisaki must have thrown the lappy, and the fact that you guys encrypted the data on it. I stopped through you every step of the way. <laughs> so you knew, so you knew we're just keeping tabs on us. Uh, that data wasn't a word, something like a gift from me to you. Uh, a word you can only give you manage to, ha to correct that hardcore encryption. I know no. So there's never any problem if you guys dig into that. <laughs> but trying to down the score is ever gonna take you things too far. Ergo, crush! <laughs> I wanna help you guys somehow. Hey, they did to bring everyone closer to way out of here. I want to do it. Oh, here we go. He fought for us. He put his life in the line for our sakes. And in the end, he died for it. <laughs> I'm feeling quite a bit better about that delicious punishment. Yeah, you know, stuff just gets me all giddy inside. Reminds me that things could be worse. No. His death wasn't meaningless. Everyone's deaths, our friends' deaths, just makes us even stronger. One of these days, I'll make damn sure you get, you understand exactly what I mean. Hey, Naggy Super Super Pass. Naggy Super Scary. Yeah! Last time I walked on out of here, but before I do that, yeah, yeah. I better read the rest. Huh? The rest? Yeah. I finished reading who got me suicide now. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, looks like that guy's attention. Here it goes. Courtesy of my fabulous voice. I think you know, there's one father I like to share between the others. This information will actually provide valuable, valuable on your journey to control the mysteries of the family. Valuable information? <laughs> there are numerous interactions with the pub master while acting as his moral. A certain fact made itself apparent to me. The pub master has done something to our bodies. It's high probable that he. Well, 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 that's a question. I was like, right into spot. The spoilers are here. Yeah, yeah. this reading is over. Uh, yeah, right in the middle of that. You wanna know what comes next? You infuriated about about the lack of a conclusion. That was the whole point, you think it says it's revenge for you guys getting all retardedly buddy buddy. At least you can see. But you have her suicide note, fat chance. Why? Too bad, so sad. Wow, stop the presses. What the hell is this? What? There's something here, they have another suicide note. And if you would, I have one final message for the puppet master. I am not there with you, not even in death. Retribution will be mine. What's that all about? What's all that about? She's just being a sore loser. She's a dwarven? Oh, what that? No point in fretting over the dead. Oh, crap. Yeah. That's not how to scoot on out. You guys should get a good night. night sleep. I mean, consider reevaluating the way you look at life here. Are you really sorry I'm not graduating? Can you honestly sever your thoughts to the outside world? For the love of God. Give it some real good thought. Those were Monokuma's last words before leaving the courtroom. But forget about him. What could Ugami have been talking about? Her last message for us, the one she said could prove viable in solving the school's mysteries. A pub master having done something to our bodies. 
I seem to recall Kirigiri saying something to that effect before too. After Celis' class trial, I think. What did you do? What did you do to my body? What? Answer me. What did you do to my body? He's done something to our bodies. But the question is, what? What the heck has he done to us? Could he have maybe planted small bombs in each of our stomachs? What if he tried to leave school? It was just some kind of sensor. Boom! I've seen stuff like that in games and movies before. I might be on a boat, but we are trapped. Yeah, even just thinking about it, it sends shivers down my spine. Enough, no more thinking about stuff like that. Huh? Anyway, the class trial is over and Monokuma's run off. Okay, what do we do now, dudes? Nanda. We go back upstairs. What else would we do? Uh, right, uh, let's blow this right then, shall we? What? Yeah. Ah, oh, Selena. She still feels responsible, doesn't she? <laughs> hmm, you're just a helpless fool. Stop being so full of yourself already. Mysteries thrown together by airhead adults just like you are nothing to write home about. Trust me, there's no one near enough to get me killed. Hey, hey. You wanna talk, dude? If it was Kirin Nexus, it was Kirin Nexus who saved the day. Shut your mouth. I'm so sorry, honest. <laughs> enough with the apologies already. I haven't fallen so far from grace as to require a peasant's pe penance. Oh, I understood. I won't. Do it again. Was it? Tell me I ain't seen this right. We had a transition in the white knight like Sasahina rate, did we? No, no, this can't be happening. They had drama to fear me and my white knight's romance. What are you talking about? No freaking chance. I would have fought for that four eyed lemon. Four eyed lemon? Just calling you like I see you, four eyed lemon. Sounds like someone's asking me to throw out with the trash. More happiness? Really? Do you have any friends? <laughs> hey, not fair! I want to get on my way night, too! I want to have an insult war! <clears throat> I guess we're still ways off from getting every from everyone getting along, huh? Not that I should be surprised. Because Togami's a douche, like usual. And so if we've got his class shot behind us, he wants to get returned to Kibugane Academy. But there was still more to the story. Several hours later, we turned to our rooms and night fell. <laughs> night fell and I drifted off to sleep. A deep, deep sleep. But even then the day refused to end. A voice. I can hear a voice. Get out. Hmm? I have some heavy eyelids. Kiri, Kiri yes, it's me. Uh, Once again, yes. Okay, it's Kiri Gary. Girl, how'd you get into my room? My body, my body jerked forward entirely on its what are you doing here? So, I'm here to wake you up. You're here to wake me up? What about the lock? <sighs> it wasn't set, and that was careless of you. It wasn't? You're kidding! Yeah. Honest, there's no need for up. There's no need to freak out about every little thing. What time is it? So. Three in the morning, obviously. <laughs> Three in the morning? Why would Kira Gear just waking up at this time of night? What brings you here so late? I have a little favor to ask of you. A favor? What do you need? You remember what Ugawi said at the end of her suicide note? I am not through if you're not even in death. Have my word, retribution will be mine. I'd like to figure out what she meant by that. Figure what she, figure out what she meant? How? As soon as the words left my mouth, Kiri Kiri leaned forward, bring her lips to my ear. The data processing room on the fourth floor. Huh? I'll meet you there. And having said that she started, she started straight for the door. Uh huh? Her words looked again and again to my half asleep mind. They'd process you on the fourth floor. Was that supposed to be locked? I 
can with this supposed to be late late night calls heading for the fourth floor. And when I arrived at the data processing room, she curious in here. Trink says that she moved me here. Maybe she's already inside. I set my hand on my hand and pulled the door. Absolutely nowhere. I tried several times, but Nope, it's definitely locked. In that case, what was she talking about? Why'd you tell me to go here? Well, 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 what you doing? Duh! Yeah, for right, yeah. You are for better from destroying locked doors, you know this. Ugh, I was just... You trying to say I busted up yet? Well, that's freaking obvious. And it explains stuff I... I see the... Anyone of a good pair of peepers I could see. I seem to give you a warning. You are shaking it pretty hard, you know. You still have to sleep or something? Not exactly. Anyway, it's three in the morning. I got sleepy too, you know. Quit screwing on. Get your ass in bed. Is there a problem? What's with all the commotion? Kirigiri! Oh, you too? Go to bed above you. I'm exhausted after that class trial. I understand. Let's get going now, Iggy. Huh? You, hear, you heard me. We're leaving. I don't know what's going on right now. Never mind that, let's go. Alright, alright. Go on, shoot, shoot! So I was instructed I fought Kirigiri back to the dormitory. When we arrived. Done. Goodbye. Oh, hold on a second! What was that all about? Can we go in the middle of the night, tell me to go to a locked room, show up at yourself, and then call it quits while I actually haven't done anything? What was the goal, the purpose of all that? <sighs> Nothing. As usual, that's all I got for a response. No, I was like, exactly surprised. Done. Good night, night. Good night. We said our good night. What was Kirigiri's... What was, like, Kyoko's plan and all that? I'm just used to calling her Kyoko, not Kirigiri. Ikusaba Mukuro. Mukuro. Ikusaba. <gasps> what? Kirigiri whispering in my ear. Ikusaba Mukuro. The sex system from the academy. The girl first guy is the with the high school despair. What? She wear a mikuru, a mikuru ikusaba. So that's what she was telling me about the 16th student. <clears throat> seven. There's now seven. Now we're back up to seven students. So. So Kyoko brought me up there to tell me about Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. But how could she know about the 16th student if we couldn't even... And why are we in the data processing room? Well, we'll find out in the next chapter. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Danganronpa. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys back next time for the next episode of Danganronpa. Thank you and goodbye.